guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have my October plan with me for you guys. Um, this is going to go similar to all, pretty much all of my plan with me's where I will take you through my thought process. I will go ahead and time lapse you guys for the actual um, drawing of spreads part and then I'll come back at the end and kind of explain the process and see you know kind of what happened when I was actually putting pen to paper. So first up let's take a look at my pre-planning. As you guys know, I use this just random little notebook that I've entitled Bujo R&D to pre-plan any of the spreads that um, I want to put in my bullet journal. So for October, I was really inspired by um, Sophie of Fee's Poetry. She has this really gorgeous color palette that she uses that's got these like really nice neutrals. And I decided to kind of base that as my color scheme for October and then sort of build around it. Uh, so as I was sitting down and going through, I wrote down the entire color palette that she used, and then I kind of made some tweaks. So I actually have here, she originally uses colors 228, 800, 761, N35, and N79. And I decided that for October, I didn't really want the pink in there, so I went ahead and kind of went through some of the other colors that I have out right now that I'm kind of like into at the moment and did a made a couple of changes. So I kept N35, N20, or N35, 228, and N79, and I added in 912, which I really am liking right now. Um, I did take out the pink. I thought originally that I was gonna use it, but I didn't like uh, the pink, so I believe this was 7, 761. I didn't like 761 with 912, so I decided that I wasn't gonna go ahead and use that. I also pulled out my Copper Faber Castell and my Bronze uh, Signo, let's take a peek. Yes, Uniball Signo. Um, to add a little bit of metallic because I've been really liking that as well recently. So for some lettering, I got a new uh, brush pen. I got the Fudenosuke, so the Tombow, um, I believe it's the Fudenosuke, it's the soft tip. So it's basically very similar to the Pentel sign pen. It's just a different brand and I thought I would give it a go with lettering for this month and see how I liked it. I also pulled out N75 because I wasn't sure if I wanted to have a, what would this be, a warmer gray? No, cooler gray, right? Because warmer is if it's got the brown in it and cooler is if it's more of like a purpley. So I didn't know if I maybe wanted to have a cooler gray to go with um, this whole combo. So this is my color combination, oops, or my color palette for the month. Let's see, pull out all of these guys. So these are the pens I'm planning on using, and as always, I kind of plan to use things, but then as I'm going through, I will often change my mind and use different things or not use all of the ones I plan to use. I've also pulled out, as part of my planning process, I've got my gray Pentel sign pen, I've got my gray Statler, pencil and eraser, as always, my Uniball Signo, and I've got my Microns. And in the non-pen range, I also have my ruler. Um, so that's kind of what I'm working with for this month. Let's go through my setup. So what I've done here is I've actually pulled out the quote that I'd like to use, and this is only a partial quote. Um, I found it, I believe, I, I often use quotes from uh, Good, Goodreads quotes because I really like literary quotes. Um, they're not always from things that I have personally read, but they are usually somehow linked to the month. That's just kind of the way I've been doing it. Um, so this is from Rochelle Goodrich, by, I'm assuming she wrote Slaying Dragons. Again, I have not actually read this one. Um, and I really just took the last, I believe it was one of the last stanzas of this like little kind of poemy thing. Um, and it, I thought it was a nice like October quote, but I didn't want to have anything super long, which is why I'm only doing part of it. So this quote is gonna go on my header page as usual. I wanted to do cobwebs again like I did last October because I really liked how that came out. Um, so I, I'm gonna kind of play around with that, see how that goes. Then I'll have my October monthly emails and happy mail as usual. I'm keeping memories and gratitude exactly the way that I've been doing them for the past two months now because I really like it and it's, it's pretty low pressure for me with all of the stuff I've got going on. So I think it's a good, um, it's a good system for me to keep, at least for the time being. Then I'll have reading, tracker, habits, and money goals. And this actually is not going to go here. 
So I'm gonna cross that out and I'm gonna show you guys right here. So I went through my current tracker habit, tracker and habits, and I pulled out the ones that I wanted to keep. So I am keeping most of them the same, except that I'm dropping Duolingo because for right now it's just too much on my plate. And then I am changing both of my habits because I had two habits that I set up this month and I'll do a quick flip through of, of September and I'll show you guys. Um, I basically am not doing very well on either of them so I'm completely changing them. I want to do flossing as a habit because I'm okay about it but I wanna get better. And I'm also going to do an impulse, impulse buy challenge again. Um, the last time I did this was in my fourth bullet journal and I gave it a full page spread. This time I'm just going to do it as a habit. Um, so I don't use a full page and I think it'll be easier for me to keep up with it if it's on my monthly tracker page because I look at that every single day. So that's my plan for October. Let me go ahead and show you how September is going. So I'm actually filming this on the 17th of September. So this is this is my new bullet journal. So this is the brand new first month in this is September. And you'll see here I've marked that I have um, number 679 is my main color. And really it's 679 and 676 are my two colors, but I didn't, I didn't want to have two here. And I will be using 679 to do my edges. I just have not done them yet. So I'm not going to flip through the front really because we'll see that another day so september so I had my intro page and my monthly so these honestly the system just really works for me and i'm keeping it for now um, working on my memories so this is something that i think i've mentioned before if i don't have time to actually do the full thing for the memories i just write them in pencil with the date down at the bottom and i get to them when i get to them um so i actually have two that i need to do now are Two that I still need to do rather. Um, gratitude is still going on. I've been actually using the gratitude to practice my normal cursive. Um, unfortunately, I switched. So I was using a Pilot G1, which is a 0.5 point, and it ran out of ink. And I have another one, but I also have um, my Ink Joy gel pen, and I wanted to use this guy for a while. Unfortunately, I had forgotten that this 0.5 is bigger than my other 0.5. I, it's very confusing. It's a different brand, so I'm assuming that's why. Um, so I actually feel like my cursive looks messier when I use this pen than when I use the Pilot G1. Um, so I'm keeping with this pen for now, but at some point I might switch back, at least for doing the cursive practice, just because it's kind of hard to see um, what it really is looking like because it just looks kind of messy. I don't know. Anyway, moving on. So reading and tracker habits and goals. So you will see my tracker um, is basically going to stay the same. I am honestly just taking out Duolingo on this line because I lost my streak and it's just a little bit too much for me to do right now. I also have my morning pages, which I would like to still do, but I'm not gonna put it on my tracker because let's be honest, it's the 17th and I've done what, five, six, seven days out of 17, so I, like not even half. Um, and then this was another one that I was working on. Haven't actually done it. Um, goals, still working on that. So I, as always, I end, I close out my money goals at the end of the month once I've actually, you know, done all of my budgeting and that kind of stuff. So that one's gonna stay open for the time being. And then I had, um, this page, which I've been using as a Calendex for stuff for back to school, um, I needed this when I was still in my fourth bullet journal because I had stuff that was coming up in September and I didn't want to do a Calendex for it in August when I was going to be moving into a new bullet journal in September, but I hadn't yet, um, I didn't want to set up a weekly and a daily because I wasn't yet in September, so I just did a page. And it worked out really well because um, this week I've had a couple more dates I needed to add in, so I just went ahead and did them on here. So all of that information is on one page. Now I normally wouldn't do this, normally I would just put it on whatever daily it was, it's just that I had the extra space so I'm using it up. Um, then I have my project kind of tracker. Um, again, I have a lot of space so I'll just keep using this until it's full or you know no longer relevant or what have you. And then basically getting into the weeklies. Um, so I've been doing the new weekly setup and I've been doing the two-tone, um, you, well, basically I've been using two colors um, as my main 
colors for that week. And what I've been doing is I've been alternating with my days. So what I basically do is I have, so that the top alternates, um, and because I usually get two days on a page, it get, gives kind of a nice effect. And then when I switch the page, I just do the opposite one for this one. So even though this is actually the same here, I do it so that it's like that. Yeah, I don't know if that really makes sense. Um, I had a bunch of extra space here, so I just did my little good, how uh, like have a good weekend kind of thing on there. Um, this is this week, so I still have to migrate a bunch of stuff. I will get to that in the evening once I kind of see what I actually get through. But again, pretty standard. I honestly haven't had a bunch of extra collections because I've been so busy. Um, you know, some, some, some weeks or some, you know, sections in my bullet journal are like that where it's really just dailies because that's what I need. Um, but I do have a couple of collections I think that are going to come up because I'll need to do um, homework tracking and that kind of stuff. So this is going to be for next week. I went ahead and set that up. Um, this morning and I went ahead and did my Monday so that I can start putting things in there soon and then I basically counted out pages so that I would know how much I would need for the end of September before I got into October so since I assume I basically get about two days per page I have about two spreads per week and then I gave myself an extra um, just in case I had collections that came up so I gave myself an extra spread for that my weekly two full spreads for dailies, an extra spread just in case. And as always, um, I give myself a little bit of extra space in case I have uh, collections that come up. Like I said, I think I'm gonna have some coming up soon and I don't know exactly when I'm gonna need them, so I wanted to leave some space. And if I don't actually use it, then I will just use those pages to practice lettering or to do a quote or to do watercolor, what have you. Um, I will find some way to use the pages, but I just like to give myself a little buffer when I'm setting up my next month um, since I am doing it kind of in advance. Then I went ahead and I did sticky notes on my pages so that I would not accidentally skip a page because I have totally done that before. Um, so this is gonna be my quote and my intro page monthly emails and happy mail, memories gratitude, oops, reading and tracker, and then I'm gonna leave this for my next um, my next weekly. I won't go ahead and set up the weekly until I kind of get closer because you never know if I'm gonna end up you know changing my weekly or what have you. So I'm just gonna set up the month and that's it. So as you can see, I have not penciled in anything on this particular um, setup. Sometimes I will do that before I film my plan with me just so I don't have to count on camera. Um, so you guys will see that when it's, you know, I'm gonna do a time lapse, but you guys will see me actually counting out spaces and doing all that. Um, so just, you'll see my process absolutely from start to finish. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on some music and I'll come back and check in with you guys at the end.
I stuck fairly closely to the colors that I wanted to do. Um, I ended up using throughout the Fudenosuke, which I really like how this writes. Um, my handwriting's a little bit messy today. My hands are a little shaky, um, but overall I really like how this writes. I think when I have steady hands, it's gonna be awesome. I also ended up using number 912, 228, uh, N79. I did the gray Statler for a little bit, and I did a little bit of this um, bronze guy. But yeah, so overall I used the pens that I planned to use, maybe not all of them, but fairly well. Um, so <laughs> you guys noticed that because I did not pre-lay anything out and because I was lettering using a new pen that I'm not as like sure of the sizing, I spaced out my lettering and then as soon as I wrote werewolves, I had to go back and change it. Um, so this one was kind of a, we're gonna wing it and see how it goes. And I actually kind of like how um, how this kind of how this turned out. I don't know why, but for some reason, serif just seems kind of Octobery to me. I don't know if I'm the only one who thinks that, but yeah, for some reason, I was just like, yes, serif. That's what we're gonna do for this. Um, so yeah, I thought this was a really cute little quote, and I did do my attribution down at the bottom here. And you will notice throughout that I am using these. Um, October and Halloween stickers. So pause and paper, uh, Sabine, she actually sent me these to test out and they are super cute. I mean, it just, I love that they're little black and white drawings because it goes really well with my, um, with my personal like style. And it saves me from having to draw absolutely everything. Like I would not have taken the time to draw my little haunted castle and I think he's super cute. So I decided at the very end to go back through and add in some stickers to just add a little bit of decoration really quickly. So you guys will see those throughout. Um, the cobwebs, I should have, if I were smart, I should have looked at my intro page from last year because I really like how it came out. Now, one of the big things was last year I did use, um, I actually used the really light gray of the Sattler Tri Plus Fine Liner and actually didn't even pull that one out this time. Don't know why probably forgot. Um, I used that and it was, it gave me a really fine line for my cobwebs. And I wanted to use the N79 because I liked the color of this, but it's just a little bit thick. So these look kind of clunky, if you understand what I'm saying. Um, but you know what? It's one of those things that like once I started, I kind of had to go with it. So I don't hate it, but it's not my favorite um, cobweb design. I definitely really liked last year's, but I do like, um, I decided to do my headers kind of following the lines of the cobweb and I think that looked really cute and I love like the little extra curly cues. They just seem to add a little Halloween-y something. And of course my little spider. Then we have my October calendar and I did end up using doing cobwebs with the gray Statler and I think this one came out a little better. Like, they just really need a finer line, so note to self. And um, again, with the shaky hands, my lines are not very straight, but I feel like that really works for October because, you know, spooky, shaky lines, blah, 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 all that fun stuff. Um, I had a really hard time writing on the spine side here. It just got a little like harder to control because of like the bump, but you know what? It turned out all right, I think. Tasks in November, you will notice I'm doing everything in English because my brain just can't handle trying to think of anything else right now. I just needed to have this set up and ready to go. Uh, ha emails and happy mail and I used one of the little stickers here and I just colored and I know it's you know maybe not exactly orange um, but I just decided to go ahead and color the stickers in with the colors I was already using to keep the color palette the same um, and luckily I had kind of a vaguely orange looking color memories and gratitude so um, Memories, I'm going to do the same way that I've been doing. Ditto gratitude. I did decide that I would go ahead and do number 228 for my numbers as well because I'm going to already have it out. Um, so that means I don't have to have an extra pen uh, to do the numbers for that. So that I think is going to work out well. Did a really messy coloring job on here. Let's go ahead and fix that. Do, do, do. Eh, a little better. Okay. So I like this because it's a really simple setup and then I can take as much time or as little time as I need during the month to actually fill it in. Um, so it's really customizable to how much time I actually have to do stuff. We have reading goals. Um, so I went a little sticker happy on this page. I thought these were so cute. Um, and again, with the serif on here, so standard reading goal setup. 
uh, habits or excuse me tracker habits and money goals I decided to do different fonts for all of or different styles for all of these no idea why I just kind of went with it um, so I normally have had three different sections here but because I don't have Duolingo I'm just doing serial reader in with like this is kind of like home stuff and social media is kind of how my brain splits it up. So I just had two different sections so it's easier for me to track through. And then I went ahead and did for flossing and my impulse buy challenge. And um, with the impulse buy, the rules with this, I actually found it um, online and the rules basically that I follow are if it's something that's a one use thing, I can't buy it during um, this month. And if it's something that I want, I have to sit on it for three days before I can actually buy it and no stationery. Those are basically my rules. I'm not writing them in this time because I know um, and I wanted to have this very small so it was on a page that I look at every single day because the last time I did it, I decided to do it like at the end of a week or something like that and I would have to just like flip back and find the page and some days I would forget to fill in and then I would go back and be like, did I really not spend anything or do I just think I didn't spend anything? So I think that this is um, hopefully gonna work a little bit better. Um, money goals, I will fill in once I do kind of my end of month recap for September and figure out how things went and how things are going. So I'll go ahead and fill those in later. And that's basically it. Um, this took a little longer just because I hadn't pre-set up anything, but overall it's a pretty easy setup. Um, you know, I, I need that for right now. And I really, I have to say, I do like how this page looks. The the cobwebs are kind of growing on me. Honestly, you know, when you first do something, you're like, oh my God, that's terrible. And then you go back and you look at it and you're like, that's not that bad. <laughs> I don't know, maybe that's just me. But yeah, so this is my October setup. If you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. And I hope you guys are all set up and or thinking about getting set up for October. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.